How you doing, everybody? Today, we're going to take a quick look at Happy Death Day, directed by Christopher Landon and starring Jessica Roth. Roth plays a college student who goes by the name Tree, which I assume is short for something, but I couldn't tell you what. And she wakes up on the morning of her birthday and proceeds to go about her day treating pretty much everyone in her life like shit. As per usual, she wakes up in a dorm room with some guy she doesn't remember from the night before and proceeds to tell him to fuck off. Her roommate at her sorority house bakes her a cupcake, which she promptly throws in the trash because too many calories. She's sleeping with one of her professors, who is, of course, married. Her dad keeps calling her on the phone, she doesn't answer, and so on and so forth. And it turns out someone in her life hates her enough to kill her. I will give you a second to recover from the shock. Second over. But a funny thing happens after she dies. She wakes up the morning of her birthday again, as if nothing had happened. And she has to keep reliving the same day over and over, and thus getting killed over and over, until she can finally figure out just who the hell is trying to kill her. So basically, it's Groundhog Day if Groundhog Day was a slasher movie. In fact, there's a point where the movie actually spells this out for us. There's a scene where two characters are in a cafe and one of them says, you know, this was a lot like that movie Groundhog Day. You really didn't have to do that. I'm pretty sure far more people have seen Groundhog Day than are going to see this movie. Although with a sub $5 million budget, I imagine Happy Death Day is still going to be extremely profitable. Now overall, I did enjoy the movie. It is a very silly movie, but it's silly by design and it's mostly silly for the right reasons. It does have a few things working against it. For one, it's a PG-13 slasher film. And for most of the movie, that didn't really bother me, but there were one or two moments where some of the death scenes really could have used a bit more gore. There's one scene in particular that makes me wonder if this was originally supposed to be an R-rated movie, but the studio made them tone it down. Because there's one scene where a guy gets shot while he's up against a wall, and then he does that thing where he slowly slides down the wall onto the floor. Now, in an R-rated slasher movie, there would be a trail of blood along that wall as he slid down. And I remember being really surprised that that trail of blood was not actually there. So I almost have to wonder if there's perhaps an uncut version out there that will eventually make its way onto DVD. There is also a death scene in this movie that involves lighting a trail of gasoline on fire, which of course results in a huge explosion which I don't expect any gore from that, I just expect a huge fireball, and there was, but the trail the gasoline took was just a little too straight and a little too convenient. Like, okay, you're pushing it here, guys. And it seemed to me that the main character, Tree, has far too many friends considering she's such a horrible person. I'm not even sure how she got into this sorority in the first place because she seems to hate pretty much every one of her sisters, but then again, they all seem to hate everyone else, including each other, so it's just like a sisterhood of bitches, I guess. And at some point in this movie, they introduce the idea that every time she starts a new day, she retains a little bit of the damage from the day before, so she comes back a little weaker each time. So the clock is actually ticking here. She does not have infinite lives. She's got to figure out who the killer is because eventually she will actually die for real. And that would have been a really good idea if they actually stuck with it, but they were not very consistent with this concept. One morning, she wakes up and gets out of bed and almost immediately collapses because she's so weak and has to be taken to the hospital. And the day after that, she's fine. What? If she was so weak that she had to be hospitalized on that one day, then the next day she should not be getting out of bed at all. But there is a lot of stuff that this movie does well, and most of it comes down to Jessica Roth, because she is fantastic in this. I think the only other movie I've seen that she was in was La La Land, and she played some minor character that I don't really remember. But in Happy Death Day, God, she is awesome. She absolutely sells every stage of this Groundhog Day experience. First, just the disbelief, like, what the hell is going on, and then the depression, like, oh my god, someone keeps fucking killing me, and then, of course, there's the don't give a shit phase, where she just starts walking around campus naked. That's what I do. And then, eventually, the self-reflection and actually trying to be a better person, and as she makes that transition from this 
horrible mean girl to someone who's actually a decent human being, it's totally believable. And this movie knows exactly what it is, and it does not try to take itself too seriously. The killer in this movie wears this weird-looking baby mask because that is apparently the school's mascot. No, for real. I think the name of the school was Bayou University or something like that, so they're the Bayou Babies. It was stupid, and that mask is somehow the silliest and creepiest thing at the same time. And the movie does have quite a few genuinely funny moments, and also some genuinely heartwarming moments when Tree finally realizes being drunk and bitchy 24-7 is no way to go through life. I will say that when they finally revealed who the killer was, I was a bit disappointed. If you feel the same way, stay with it. Trust me. Overall, I don't know if this is necessarily worth paying full price to see in the theater, but I would say it's worth a matinee, unless they announce that there's an uncut version that's going to come out on DVD later, in which case, just wait for that. And that's about it for Happy Death Day, so until next time, take care.